Fucking man's up. Last time I seen you, you called out a guy at 54 yeah. at a press conference, yeah. Xander Zayas. Can we look forward to that fight? Oh yeah, definitely. In fact, the guy I'm fighting this time is Xander Zayas' sparring partner, his main sparring partner. Hmm. You feel me? So you know, and Zayas going on that card, so he can watch up and close. You feel me? Okay. Oh. You, you gonna send a message through his sparring partner? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Now, as we see here in the in the press conference, man, Jahai Tucker said he's moving up. He called you out, champ. What's your what's your thoughts on that? Well, you know, he's a he's a young fighter. Um, he's excited to you know put on a show for his fans. Um, but again, like I said in the press conference, he has he has a lot of room to improve. He got to get you know to to 15 or 14 and 0. And um, if, if the fight to make sense, then top rank is gonna offer it. And I'm no I know for a fact we're gonna be able to take it. But again, he has a lot of time, a lot of room for improvement. A lot, of, a lot of growing to do, and that's why he shoots. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so listen, things are heating up at 154 in, a, in the top rank stable. You know, uh, this weekend we had a great fight between the young rising prospect, Jahai Tucker, as he took on the big, strong, sturdy, dangerous Georgian fighter, uh, Nikolai Shekniazuli. Now, I'm very familiar with Nika. He trains down here in South Florida at, at Santana Sweatbox Gym. And, you know, very heavy handed guy. He's the kind of fighter that if you kind of stand in front of him the way Jahai was early, you can get put into some serious trouble as Jahai was early. But Jahai showed in that fight, which was his only 10th professional fight, that he had some some durability to him. He had some what, what, what they would call some dog, some grit, some gumption. You know, he really, I think, in his career made a statement, and uh, he should be on everybody's radar now. When it talk, if he wasn't if he wasn't already on your radar, he should be on your radar now. When it comes to you know the young fighters in boxing, the young fighters uh, moving up the ranks. You know. So with that being said, he's he's been calling out Xander Zayas for a while, and mind you, he was calling out Xander Zayas before he really fought at 154. This fight, I believe they fought at like 152 or something like that. It was, it was a bit of a catchweight fight for Jahai Tucker. So with that being said, uh, this, is, this is the fight that I want for Xander Zayas uh, soon. Because, you know, uh, I've thrown some names out there. Like, obviously, like Pete Dobson, I've thrown his name out there before. But, you know, they don't want to take that fight. Or that's not, that's not a fight that's realistic because it doesn't really do a whole lot for Xander right now. And Pete's not really doing a whole lot as far as his boxing career is concerned. So you have that. Then, you know, uh, the fight I really want to see is Xander versus Eric Tudor, the all-South the all Florida 154 super fight for the future. But that's obviously one for the future. They're both with different promoters. They both have different plans. If they both keep winning, maybe down the road, the two kids from the Dave Powell could, run, could rule the 154 division. And that could be a fight that uh, we see in boxing, you know. I wouldn't mind that fight. But I think this fight makes a lot of sense because Jahai Tucker... You know, he's now, a, you could say he's a legitimate 54 pounder because Nika Shekni Azuli, that's not an easy fight to move up in weight to fight a guy like him. Uh uh, that's, that's tough. And he went out there and he, pa he passed the test with flying colors. Yeah, it was a bit scary early on. Yes, he, he, he bent, but he didn't break. And he showed that he has some craft, he has some boxing experience, he has some toughness to him. And I think this is an opponent, this is a fighter that Xander's eyes should take more seriously. Now, um, let me just say, if I didn't say it already in the beginning of the video, make sure you guys go subscribe to uh, YSN Sports Media and Cornerman Boxing. I got those clips from their channel, so I don't I don't want to take none of their clips without giving them. They're just doing, they're just shine. Both those do, both both those guys up there, Cornerman Box and YSN Sports Media. Those are two channels that are really I, I, I have respect for. They're, they're up on the East Coast in New York and Philadelphia, respectfully. But those are two men that love boxing and they're doing a great job. So go support them and what they got going on. But uh. Yeah, like you saw in those interviews, Jahai Tucker really wants that fight because he wants to prove himself against one of the young rising stars in, 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 in boxing. And Xander, you know, I like Xander. And, you know, Xander is not necessarily, he's not a fighter that likes to talk, to, to talk trash. It's not really his MO. Uh, it's hard to get anything out of him. He's very good about answering questions the right way. So, you know, shout out to him. He's very professional when it comes to that. But, you know, I, I thought it was kind of funny when he, when he did the interview with Cornerman Boxing. I thought it was a little funny that he said that uh, Jahai Tucker's a young fighter and he's gonna build his way up. And then I went on, I went on this thing called Google, this, this little thing called Google where you can search things. 
and I type both their names in and I come to find out that they're both the same age. They're both like 20 years old. So what does he mean he's a young fighter that needs to build himself up? Like that, that, that don't make no sense. That not make, that, that's not making not one ounce of sense at all. Um, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and say Xander's ducking him because uh, I, I don't think the fight's really been a thing for a while. But uh, he, he, he made it very clear. He feels like, you know, once Jahai Tucker gets to a certain level, when he's like, you know, 11 and 0 or, or 12 and 0 or 13 and 0, whatever, whatever, whatever what the record he said was, you know, he, he feels like that uh, they'll be in a position to take the fight. And he he feels like uh, Jai Tucker needs to make some improvements before that fight makes the optimum amount of sense. So listen, he's just giving his take. Uh, I'm not going to get on him yet. And I, and I don't want to get on Xander because I like Xander. I know I, 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 I've been seeing Xander around gyms in South Florida since he was a kid. So I, I got a lot of time for Xander. But uh, this is a fight now that's on my radar because. You know, you can't just be fighting these 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 faded veterans and these guys that move up and wait and knock them out. Everyone's gonna anoint you the star. No, if everybody's if everybody's anointing you as a star and a killer and this and that, then you gotta actually live up to be everything you said that pe that, that people say you are. You know, and, and, and listen, Shazana knows the responsibility he has to become the next face of Puerto Rican boxing. He knows the responsibility he has, and he takes it 100% head on. So uh, this is the fight I want to see because. One thing about Jahai Tucker is I know I know one thing. There's no there's no quit in his soul. There's no lack of dog in his spirit, and he can fight. He can really fight. He can fight, and I, I think if he fights Xander, um, I don't think he's gonna be going in there to box Xander. He's gonna be going in there to fight Xander, and, and, and just the, the thought of that, that the thought of somebody potentially taking the fight to Xander, and maybe even bringing another best in him and seeing what's really really there. How good is he really? You know, we know he's good. We know he's talented. But how good and talented is he really? Because, listen, I got respect for Peter Khan. He's a friend of the program. He's a friend of the channel. Um, I love Peter Khan. I got a lot of time for Peter. But Peter's a great manager, and he knows how to pick the right fights at the right time, and he's done his damn job. And that's why that's why he's one of the highest paid uh, uh, managers in boxing. That's why, you know, uh, he's, he's manager of the year. That's why, you know, other managers drive. They might drive nice cars, but Peter Khan drives a Bentley. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, he's, he's done his job. And there's gonna come a point in Xander's career where Peter's gonna have to put him in a fight where it's not where it's sink or swim. You either got a star or you don't got a star. And to me, one of the fights that could possibly be that or a step towards that is Jahai Tucker. And it's a fight that I want to see because it's, you know Jahai Tucker, I believe now that he's beat up Xander's sparring partner, who's a who's a by, by the way, by the way, I'm not gonna sit here and say Nika Shetnyazuli wins a world title, but he's not exactly a, a easy out for anybody. He's a He's the guy that if you sit there like Jahai Tucker was early, he's a, he's a very heavy-handed, very explosive guy, and his boxing skills have improved over the last couple of fights under Javier Centeno. So he's a good, he's a he's a dangerous fighter. You know, he just wasn't dangerous quite enough for Jahai Tucker. So that's my take. I'm just making this video to make my thoughts known that the fight I want to see for Xander Diaz, because he's been boxing for so long now that you know I've I've been saying to myself, what's a realistic fight that I could really get excited about? And I think I finally found it. I think Jahai Tucker's put himself in that position to where I want to see that fight. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Xander Zayas, Jahai Tucker. Tucker wants to fight. Tucker's making it clear both in the ring and out the ring that he wants a Xander Zayas fight. Will top rank allow Xander to take that fight anytime soon? You can, you guys let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.